Law has traditionally been inseparable from the concept of territory. If we think of different jurisdictions as different colors, then in each country law would have one color alone, thus avoiding conflicts of values. So if I am yellow, but I happen to be in a green country, I will have to behave green. Territory defines legitimacy of law. Borders limit the extent of such legitimacy. But what to do when there is no territory, no borders? The internet is technically borderless. Its users, millions of dots, each with its color, have to share this space, to interact. This sometimes leads to conflict. If the traditional territorial approach no longer works as a means of regulation, how can cohabitation in cross-border online spaces be mediated in a way that is fair to all and respects every user's rights? These questions gain particular relevance when we tackle the subject of hate speech. Why is it apparently so abundant? What can we do to prevent and discourage it? I started thinking and I put myself in a very huge dilemma. From one side, if we create uh, national bubbles with different laws and regulations, we have a few huge risks to our democracy in many countries. I don't think that uh, any creation of national bubbles or any regulation would actually help us to regulate the hate speech online. And there is no uh, international executive that could protect an international binding law. Um, I think that it's important to strengthen the already existing means of the national, the national executive. I do believe that hate speech both online and offline should be universally recognized as a violation of human rights. But what is hate speech? should be decided by the groups of countries. Because what can be taken as a notion joke in one country can be really offensive in another. Although I understand it's really difficult and sensitive and complicated to regulate the online spa space and much more if we speak about privacy or freedom issues, I consider that the first uh, should exist an international worldwide agreement with the minimum basis to protect the fundamental rights of the human beings uh, at also at the online sphere. It's really great if we have universal code of conduct or online legislation about cross-border hate speech in online environments. to a large, large degree and therefore you cannot invent a universal formula that would apply and would capture the whole gamut of hate expressions since such a generic approach would undermine and would clash with cultural relativity. I don't think there is a one clear-cut way to solve the problem that is hate speech online but I think a multifaceted sort of approach uh, should be the way to go that involves stakeholders from end users to governments to the multinationals that um, are running this, uh, these platforms, Facebook and Google and all the others. I think especially the multinationals have a very specific uh, role to play in trying to have internal mechanisms to deal with the problem that is head speech because they are the carriers of these messages and they should be able to intervene where necessary to, um, to stop hate speech, hateful content being spread around online.